Oh, oh, there we go. My sound was muted. There we go. Look at them. We don't got quite the whole party here. We got most of them. Um, Nat is dealing with some things today. Um, so uh, I'm going to be playing for Nat um, as well as uh, Sloth for the time being because uh, Sloth has is decided to step away, as you guys know. Um, but everyone else is here. Uh, Josh may be coming back at some point. Um, the... <laughs> He was planning to a while ago because it looked like there was going to be some changes in his work schedule, but uh, that kind of unfortunately fell through. So um, he's looking at some alternatives here, but hopefully we'll get his beautiful self back. But how are you guys doing? It's been a hot minute since we played. Tired. <laughs> yeah, pretty tired. Right. right, if you guys missed it, those two, well, yeah, let's see. It, wait, there you go. Those two. Just had a child named Odin, mm -hmm. and he's a adorable being. So, um, yeah, the the, so cute. the time off was essentially uh, because holidays were upon us. So we were all everyone was kind of hectic doing their own thing, and then they had babies. So we wanted to give them time, you know, spend time with baby and uh, everyone recoup. But sounds like we're gonna be black playing some D and D again. I'm heckin' excited. It's been a long time. So so I'm very excited. Um. Also, everyone in chat, hey, yo, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Appreciate you guys being here. It definitely means a lot. Um, let's see. Let's, let's see if you guys might have to help fill in, do some recaps um, with this. But uh, also, idea that I had is I'm thinking what we could do, let's see if you guys are into it. Um, every time we do quarantine, um, I can reward players that um, choose to do recaps or um, any sort of write-ups for the campaign, you know, give them like inspiration points or something and make those inspiration points rewardable for other players maybe. So like, you'd be like, yo, that was awesome. I had an inspiration point, give it to someone. But the idea being is instead of me as the, the dungeon master, the storyteller, trying to say what, or, what happened or what not happened, um, which can be a little misleading, it's better to come from the eyes of the players. Right, because I may have said something, I might may have thought something, and maybe I conveyed it in a different way that you guys interpreted. So I want to hear it actually come from your guys' mouth, and that way I'm like, oh snap, something got misunderstood. This could be fun, as opposed to me telling you what happened. Does that make sense? Cool. Kind of. Yes. Cool. All right. So um, maybe today uh, I'll do a little bit of a recap too. But uh, um, if you guys have any in more in input. Obviously, feel free to chime in. But I think going forward, um, maybe we'll uh, ask for volunteers. And if it's always the same volunteer, maybe we'll do a random draw. We'll, we'll let the fates of the D6 decide who gets to do a recap. So pay oh, attention, uh, I guess. Um, but let's see. Uh, last time, many moons ago, you guys found uh, that, that wizard. I forgot his name. Uh, at the tower. Eldritch? It sounds something like Eldrin or something like that. Eldrin, yeah. I, I don't. Eldrin. Eldrin. Okay. Cool. Um, he was he was at the Wizard Tower. Um, he's supposed to you know keep it tidy, but it looks like he slacks off. Uh, your port back to uh, Raska, uh, was is disabled. So the idea is, um, you guys are going to either take a like a month or two months trek walk back, or you're going to head up to a city, a port city called Bastion Bay, uh, which is only like a three or four day walk, a uh, day's travel, and then like two or three days of just ship travel back. Um, so that was the plan. Um, you guys decided to camp out at the ti uh, at the uh, the tower, and unfortunately, due to uh, Serial's amazing roll of a D12, <laughs> uh, a difficult encounter uh was spawned on top of you guys and uh serial i i checked the uh, combat encounter before i cleared it up but you took some nasty wounds uh from uh those boarmen so uh i had to go get those yeah. checked out it was painful yeah it, that was a that was an interesting combat that was I, not prepared for left. <laughs> yeah dude that was oh and i think you had to get healed a couple times and you still got yeah wrecked yeah i think i got down twice as well mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah Fun times. Uh, anyways, so that's um, what I recall. Do you guys remember anything else? 
Or did I miss anything? I don't think I did. No. I think you summed it up pretty well. I mean, he did get jacked up by those, uh... By those Bormen. Yeah, the, the Bormen! Um, and one of them, I think, got away. They, they decided to flee. Because, obviously, intelligent creatures run. Uh, when they're outmatched. Well, I think it was because this, this creation uh, terrified the ever-living bejesus out. Oh, yeah, you fireballed them or something. And did yeah. some disgusting... One, yeah. Man, fireball is gross. I want... I wonder if there's a mod out there specifically for Fireball, just... Gotta be. Yeah. Oh, if there is, I'm, yeah, I'm It's like 86 it. or something disgusting. Um, let's see. Um, we'll say that, uh, after the night passes, um, after that all shenanigans, you kind of wake up, uh, Serial, you're, you're still kind of hurting, um, you're healed up, you, you got kind of a nasty gash in your side that you took from one of the tusks of the boar. Um, and uh, Eldrin, you know, just being an old conjurer, is is kind of like, well, there's one bed in his tower, so he sleeps in it. Uh, but he comes out and he's like, uh, he he greets you guys in the morning. He's like, oh, oh lo looks like you had quite the scuffle out here last night. I slept like a bird. <laughs> um, the bird sleep well, or I I. Ah. I... <laughs> uh... And then he just kind of just acts like he didn't say that. Uh, and he's like, <laughs> got quite the nasty wound you got there. You should get that looked at. <laughs> Points what at you, I Serial. I was just going to say, would you, would you be able to uh, provide any healing? But do I look like a medic? I am but a divination wizard. <laughs> Do you know anywhere we could get some healing? And he kind of furrows his brow and kind of looks a little bit closer. And he's like, mm, that is indeed a nasty one. I don't think any sort of uh, normal medical treatment will, will come and uh, will, will do. What was it you said? You were headed to uh, Bastion Bay, eh? I've got an idea, real quick. Mm -hmm. um, so this was about... It's got to be a year ago that we did this bit of the campaign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but I still have it in my inventory. And I'm pretty sure the water either had damaging or healing effects. I have a small vial of the fire swamp water that we went through. Right. And that's the not a normal swamp. medical... Like, yeah, so if I remember correctly, that water could either damage you or heal you, but I couldn't remember what triggered which one. But I do have a small vial of it, thinking that might help. You guys never figured out what triggered it. it. Uh, did we not? Fudgeticles. Uh, no. No, we should no, get we the biscuit. Yeah, I was gonna show you, you could, <laughs> gonna just pour it on there? Well, I, it was from the fire swamp. I guess the, the thought could be, like, it's either gonna heal you or maybe it'll cauterize it. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, Lucy's not intelligent. He's just fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, what do, what does the party think? Do it. <laughs> I'll a cup of tea. With <laughs> not no, this is not today. Tell you or uh, save you. <laughs> um. Do you know what? Let, let's. I'm gonna try it. Just. Just to see what happens, I guess. Okay. Um, because... Yeah, do I have to roll for anything? Yeah, I'm gonna make you roll. Um, roll a percentage die. You have a 25% chance of it, uh... Healing. Oh lord. So, one to, 1 to 25. Okay, so, uh, do 2d10s and whatever it comes out to. 2d10s and whatever it comes out to, okay. Oh, that's gotta be good. oh wait, that's gotta be good. how do you do? Oh, hold on. If you right click the D10, you can choose percent. Because otherwise, that's can't, can't, can't I just stick my original roll. Well, because then it's never gonna get above a twenty. 
Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can multiply it by five. Well, it, I mean, you just oh, combine them percentage. and add 80. Percentage. Okay, I got it. I got yeah. it. I got it. <sighs> so, one to 25. And you rolled a 90. Or you rolled a nine. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Um, yeah. It, it, uh, it actually cauterizes the wound, but you take no damage. Hell yeah. Um, so... Uh, any sort of residual bleeding or uh, infection that you could have got, uh, you has been staved off. We'll say. Um, okay. I won't say. Um, I don't think you got I, any um, heal from it. Can I? Can I uh, cast cure wounds now? Uh, if you had any spell slots. I'd appreciate it. I suppose it. you guys. Um, I have. A, I, I have, have a... two first. I have two first level spells and then one second level spell slot. Oh, I've also got aloe on me, which would help soothe the burn. <laughs> oh, crap. Where's my actual overlay? Hold on. I need to be on this scene because I need to. You guys have a, a short rest with that because you, since you guys woke up, you didn't get quite a full rest in, but. Um, so you can, uh, you can also choose to spend some hit. Hit die, uh, to heal up if you want, Lushu. But uh, yes. How do I do that? Which I forget. I... Anyone know how freaking spending hit dies works in D and D? It for some reason I've read it so many times and it just doesn't click in my brain. I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And then a day later, I don't remember it. Well, uh, you get I certain cannot... you get a certain number of hit dies per day by your level. So you're level five. What is your hit die? I think it's like a, a D six. Or something like that. It'll say in rogue. Hmm. Uh, okay, then, yeah, so the type is defined by... Oh, yeah, your hit die is a D, uh, D8. A D8, okay. So, so you can... You can... How many do I roll? Just one. Um, yeah, so if you go to your character sheet, uh, at the very bottom, there's a HD. You seen that? Um, bear with me. Under, uh, near your, like, wounds and stuff. Ooh, how do I get to my character sheet? I haven't used it in uh, so long. Just click, double-click your portrait. Yeah, I'm on that, but I'm not seeing any... Okay, so to go to your main tab, and at the oh, very sorry, bottom... The HD, at the very bottom, I got a... You got a I D8. Got a there, yeah. So go ahead and, uh, roll that. Okay, so I drag it from there. Mm -hmm. I should add it to my HP automatically, right? I don't know if it'll heal you automatically. You can try it. Gee. But essentially... Five. Oh, it did. Oh, that's fucking cool. Okay, so... Awesome. so And look, it also took down one of your hit dies. So, there you go. So you have... Oh, so I have four left. Yeah, you get one hit die per level. Ooh, okay. And you can only choose to use those during, like, a short rest, if I understand correctly. Okay, and do they refresh after every long rest? After, yes. Okay, awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Well, I've got two HP and I have a maximum of thirty-three. Um, do I have? Can I use a health potion? If you or want, do you guys have your spell slots because we did a short rest. It's up to you guys. Do you, would you want to waste one? Or I think I everyone got their spell slots. I, I can. I can waste one. I think uh, everyone got their spell slots back. Level. Appreciate you. So how do I use it at second level? Do I just cast it twice? You, wait, he's only got two damage. I wouldn't use it at second level. I mean, you can choose to. Because uh, he had two out of thirty. No, he has. He's has. Um, two, he has thirty-one out of thirty-three. Is how much life he has. Oh wow! And like, you can choose to use a health potion. I think it's a D six or something. It's one of you guys has it. In your inventory. Then I'll just cast it at first level and we'll, and we'll call it a day. Appreciate okay. It. Let's go. Heal them from five. All right, I'll just wipe it out. There you go. Boom. You are feeling Oop. a little bit be better. Um, you still kind of have that that gaping nasty wound there. Um, but uh, it's it's seems to be under control for now. Uh, because of the water and the, the heal wounds that you just received. Um, Elijah says, like, ooh. Well, seems to be, a seems to be all right for now, but 
be sure to go get that, uh, probably go get that checked out by, uh, good old fire threat, or, uh, find there in, uh, Bastion Bay. You're headed there, yes? I suppose so. <laughs> right, pompous lad, but, uh, he, he should be able to fix you up. How far away did you say it was? Two and a half days. Bastion Bay? It's about a three day, yeah. uh, travel. Three day. Three day. Okay. Um, Which you know direction what? do we head? Uh, you're going to be heading northwest. Mostly west. You know Can I ask him if he has anything that will help you know, aid us on our journey? Anything that he might have for sale or anything laying around? Oh. Um, he he kind of looks around and he's like, In this squabble? No. I, what I bring is here on my pack and it's just like his lunch. For for like three days, because he obviously doesn't want does not want to maintain this thing, and he hates traveling here, so he takes just the bare necessities and what he needs to survive. Jeez. What time is it now? Um, it's probably like seven in the morning. It's pretty early. All right, then. All right, then. Um, going to ask him. Are there any faster ways to get there? Is there a town nearby, maybe with a horse and carriage, or maybe another wizard you can point us to that can help us get there a bit quicker? Uh, to Bastion Bay? Yeah. Um, or a boat, perhaps? <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're completely landlocked right now. Uh, you're getting to Bastion Bay that, to get to the, the coast so you can actually travel. Um, Touche. But, uh... Let's see. Was there any towns on the way? Um, there, there might be a sprinkling of a uh, couple of villages out in the middle of nowhere, but mostly uh, between here and Bastion Bay, that that is the a very large port town. So there's a, everything that you can find is there. There's very little on the outskirts besides farmland. You you may be able to run into some people with a. Farming equipment, maybe a horse, but who knows if they'll be able to part with their animals. Okay. I'm Walking sure it is. <laughs> I Gotta know. love travel. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm going to suggest to the rest of the party that maybe we, we start moving then. Oh, what do you mean, guys? Yeah, I'm scared. Let's move. Let's walk. We're walking. In, so you guys start. We might, we might actually get to uh, kill some more things. <laughs> Unless yes. on the way we might go to a village and we, they might be able to, you know, we might be able to do a chore to be able to borrow their steed. <laughs> Permanently borrow. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> since you guys are in the middle of the forest. Um, you are able to make normal time because of, uh, Pancog is favored terrain is for us. So you're able to essentially head due north. It's the quickest path out of the forest. And then you find a path that, you know, is heading a little bit west towards the direct bash bay that you need to go. Um, it's probably around three o'clock now, um, after, you know, a few hours of traveling. Uh, but you found the road and you were able to head off to the direction of Bastion Bay. Um, I don't think we'll do much in terms of traveling. I'm, maybe I'll make you roll. I don't know. But um, So you guys are headed west. Um, oh, crap. I got I to gotta keep it. Remind me that uh, Vasha is here and uh, so is Zozo. Um, but yeah, you guys are you're heading west. Um, I don't know, you, you guys feel free, you were able to chit-chat amongst yourselves, or just keep traveling silently, whatever you, if you have something on your minds, feel free to bring it up. I, uh, I, I want to ask Sushu what he thinks that I could potentially, uh, get uh, for th the three soldiers that I took. Oh, that's right. You still have those. Do I have them? <laughs> no, I have them. You have them. I Wait. took three of them. Yeah, she stole three of those soul jars from the 
the necromancer lair. And she's asking me about them. I'm confused. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and ask him directly. How much do you think someone would buy oh. them for? Oh, oh, because underground thief and stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, let me. I'm actually gonna see if there is any information about underground D and D five e like black markets and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's black like markets. Items that kind of represent it a little bit. Um. It's on D and D Beyond. Um. I totally forgot that I had the soul jars. I would say that the closest thing on this list, the list of a hundred things, quickly going through it. Um, do, are, are we aware of what's actually? Are they human souls? Are they like demon souls? Are, they, are we aware of what kind of? Thing they are because that would affect price as far as you're aware uh for, from what you determined from the necromancer earlier that those are the souls that he ripped out of the villagers bodies okay uh the um, people that went missing so they're probably not too happy about being well, they'll just live i would suggest anywhere between or is it just one how, how would they know souls? How would you know? You guys got, um, because you read some of his journals and stuff when you were going through his lair. I would say... No, no, I mean, to... how would townspeople know? True. Um, between 100 and 150 gold each, depending on condition and if you can actually, like, you know, pretty much prove they are what you say they are. Also, something That's you guys really haven't thought of, you don't know if they're right illegal or not. Wait, can I use my, my thief history to be able to tell if they are or not? Sure. Would that... Yeah? Okay. Well, what, what, uh, um, what kind of role would that be? That would, be? That yeah. would probably um, be a... Would it be Perception? history? Or would it be insight? Would it be a history? I would think it would be a history. Would it be survival? No, survival's not it. I need to do that. No. Uh, yeah, history kind of makes sense. History? Alright, I'll roll history to see if I'm aware if it's illegal or not. Sure. Um, okay, rolling. Nice. Um, also, I guess uh, if anyone has a like an arcana, they, they could chime in too. Um, but I do, plus four. Sure. Well, you, you're obviously overhearing this, so um, you can roll an arcana check if you want. Um... <laughs> oh no, you didn't do Oh, you, yeah, you just rolled a d20. So, see if we can set up and get a horse or skills. something. Yeah, I, we can just add it. Hold on, skills or kind of. So, you would have got a five. Um, okay. So, we'll say, uh, Lucio, you, you obviously are aware that these probably could fetch for some coin uh, on a black market. Um, but considering that you know that it's in a black market, uh, you know, it's probably uh, not not uh, something that you can just be flaunting around. Uh, so, but you're not quite sure how illegal it is. You're not versed uh, well enough in, you know, the magic or the necromatic arts. I guess you could say. Um, so, you would definitely have to play pretty close to the chest if you're going to be asking around uh, what they well, could be I worth. I can use my thieves' con. Mm -hmm. to ask around. Plus, actually, I've also um, I <laughs> where's my because I can send a message to someone by like through long distances. Um, can you? Yes, I'm trying to remember who left. Oh, we lost Pat and Cog. <clears throat> Let me figure there out back. which one it is. <laughs> Oh, your criminal contact? Yeah, criminal contact. I think that's the one, yeah. Um, oh, okay. It, it, you're essentially, you have like a little messenger guy. 
Yeah, so that's the one. You have a lot of relation to network of other criminals. Okay, awesome. So what I could do... Um, does anyone have anything that we could draw on or anything to draw with? I have notes. I always have notes on me. Yeah. And, and, do you have any sort of like ink or charcoal? Yeah, or yeah. I have ink. Qu quite a few of you guys have stuff you can write on. Oh, do we? Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, well, in that case, can someone go ahead and draw a picture of what it looked like? <laughs> we don't know exactly what it looked like, but just draw it. Um, and I'm going to write on the letter uh, once it's on there. Um, asking for my criminal contact to talk to the underground criminal market in Bastion Bay? Mm -hmm. Bastion Bay. Um, because we will be there in about two days' time, um, or two and a half days' time. Um, and can they have someone give me a letter with the information once we arrive? Well, uh, what type of... Check would it be to uh, see if we can even draw this one? I was going to say, whoever's going to have to draw it is probably going to do a performance. Ooh. <laughs> um, um, we'll I, I can attempt to do this. <laughs> also, uh, also, Lushu, uh, be aware that <laughs> your, I'm the one. Your, your, your contact is actually a physical person. So it's a physical person. So you have to find someone that is a contact to be able to give this to. You're kind of walking on a road, like... I'll say, like, if you're, there's people around, you could probably find a contact, but the idea um, of, like, just kind of be, like, hand off to no one. You know what okay. I mean? Well, could I roll I, a... I rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> could I roll a perception check to see if I can see anyone around me that I am aware is a part of the criminal organization? Well, you're in the middle of nowhere right now. Oh, I thought you said those people walking past. I thought you said no, no. Right. There, if, sorry, sorry. I was saying if there's people walking past, like if you're near a town oh, or something, okay, I'll okay. give you that option. Um, can, can we can we tell how far away we are from the the nearest town? Like, um, the little village. Because there's little villages on the yeah, way. Yeah, you'll have to. Like, you're you're probably still like because you just exited the the forest. Uh, you're probably like half a day's way from the nearest one. Um, you can probably that. turn that out. I'll say, uh, Pancog, you're able to you know discern just from some sort of tracks on the the road uh how often it's used and what probably the distance is to a uh, nearby somewhat sort of a civilization or people or something so you're st you're still probably got um you'll probably stumble upon maybe something within the next six to ten hours okay um oh bear with me also, Pancog, your role for performance. Uh, you draw the jar, but it looks <laughs> like a... Uh, it's very. It's not detailed at all. It, you know, you just kind of drew... It, but but it's, it's vague enough that somebody could... Ask. It's an outline. You can obviously tell... Like, people could probably think it's a vase um, or it's a jar. They, they're just like, why did you even attempt? Okay, sure. <laughs> There's well, there's a jar. Underneath it, underneath it, I'm gonna write in yeah. Thieves Con a secret message that mm -hmm. only other people can understand and tell them that it is a soul jar. This is a try, try to be more of what it looks like. As far as <laughs> it's, descriptors, it's, <laughs> it glows. It came from a necromancer. I'm scared. We want to sell it. Yeah. So, that, so that's what you're conveying, but you're doing it in yeah. Thieves Con. That yeah, works. I don't want it. Oh yeah, <laughs> no works for me. We're, we're still <laughs> <a different culture. laughs> these poor, <laughs> these poor people are have their souls trapped in a jar, and you guys are looking to sell it. Hey, hey! When there's a profit to be made, changing your guys' I alignment mean... to chaotic evil. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so you you have this note written. You you have this note written. You kind of stuff it in a pack until you. have Find someone that could be a, a, a contact. But, uh, you, you you keep continue traveling down uh, the road. Yep. Um, it's about you know eleven p.m. Um, you still haven't quite stumbled acro across uh, uh, any sort of significant civilizations. You know, there, there's been some like windmills and stuff. Um, to you know, I don't know why there would be windmills. Never mind. There's not windmills. There's just. <laughs> Kind of just long, empty forest land and plains and stuff. Um, 
Lucio, go ahead and roll a constitution check. Ooh. Okay. Check, not a save. Oh, yeah, because he's still got a wound. Uh, yep, yep, I just I did that by accident. Yep, I picked up the, uh, the thingy one. Uh, constitution nope. save, okay. Yep. <gasps> Um, you feel, uh, you feel a little bit agitated. Um, nothing too, like, bad, but, uh, you know, you know, ever have one of those days where you just, like, just the smallest things can get on your nerves? You need um, a Snickers. Yeah, 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 something like that. You, yeah. You're feeling a, a little on edge, you're a little bit agitated, um, but nothing, nothing beyond that. Um, but it is, like, 11 p.m., and, uh, you guys have been traveling for over 12 hours. Should we uh, set up camp soon and take a rest? Probably wise. That sounds like a great idea. <clears throat> Echo. Uh, I will uh, take first watch. Excellent. I uh, will take second. Okay. Are you guys going to do a long or a short rest? I'm well, going to do a long. I'm an elf, so I think I can well, just Well, yeah, trance. we're elves. We get, we get trances, so it's six hours for a long rest for us. Yeah. But... Uh, two, uh, two of two of you. Saying long rest for the the short elf. The or is that yeah, the elf? two of them are half yeah. elves. So yeah, so Does I'll have six have hours, then I'll take watch. <clears throat> okay, because well, we are real elves, we can actually be in the trance. You guys can. And still, be Hancock there. and Eva cannot. So, so we'll let <laughs> Hancock and Eva elf. sleep properly. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. Vasha and, and Zozo. <laughs> Vasha and Zozo, sorry, yes. And me and Echo will stay in the trance because we still get rested fully anyway, mm -hmm. but we are still yeah. aware of what's around us. So we'll keep our trance watch. Trance is, going. trance is trance such a watch. broken fucking thing. Holy crap! <laughs> it really is. You literally can just take both right. watches and just sit yeah. there. And yeah, meditate still... for yeah. eight hours. Uh... So you guys are gonna do a long rest. All right. Mm -hmm. yes. um, rest long and well. I guess Yo. everyone got their uh, their life back and uh, spell oh, slots got back. Die back as well. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's so nothing. Nothing. Uh. Well, actually, I have to roll. Okay. And uh, nothing crazy happens. It's a. Uh, it's a beautiful, clear, uh, warm enough night, but just like a nice, cool breeze. Uh, very few clouds in the sky. Uh, there, are, the stars are very bright. The the moon is um, approaching. You know, I don't know what the things of the moon are waxing or whatever, waning. Never learned that. Didn't stick in my brain. But uh, you can see a near full moon tonight. Clear as night. Beautiful night. Uh, but nothing or everything. The night passes without any sort of a. Uh, scuffle or y'all sleep just fine um what time did you guys want to get up After a long rest, 11 so. and we did eight hours so wouldn't that be like five sure is it no so we say 6 a.m yeah 6 a.m it's like yes. seven yeah okay um so, so everyone just enough daylight to make it through yep mm. so you guys uh Wake up without a hitch in the night and uh, continue trucking on. Um, yep. After about a couple hours, uh, you run across a solo small shack um, of a, a guy that, you know, has very simple um, hunter's hut that just, you know, goes out, hunts some animals and takes them to uh, Bastion Bay um, as he... He gathers pelts and stuff. He's he's like a leather worker. He's a tanner, um, and he he's sells some meat, uh, salted meats, uh, as you can gather from his hut. And the smell. Mm. Salted meat, you say? Mm. Salted meat, salted pork. <laughs> I I would uh, request that we stop, so I can get some uh, nice treats for Kyrian since he's. Done more damage than me lately. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Your last couple rolls have been rough. Um, so you you walk up to the door and tunk 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 tunk. Knock on it. I'm assuming. Um, there's a so there, there's no answer when you you knock. Um, I I try the doorknob to see if it's unlocked. Uh, <clears throat> it's it's unlocked. Just, uh, uh, 
Uh, there I, seems I to be. I open just enough, like, hello, uh, hi, yes, is there anyone in here? I have. There's no response. Uh, go ahead and uh, actually, what's your passive perception? Oh, you're fine. Um, you were able, as you're kind of like looking around, seeing what's going on here. Uh, you're able to notice that there's there's some tracks leading out uh, of the the shack. Um, it looks like he left like two, three days ago on a hunt. Damn. Uh, but you do notice, you know, there's some uh, there's some various uh, tools. Uh, there's you know, there's a there's some arrows. There's some salted meat. Um, he's got very basic stuff. He needs candles, basic necessities that he needs to live. I look through everything to see if there's anything I can steal. <laughs> oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> yep. You're, you're gonna steal this poor guy's shit? Yep. He's going full Skyrim. Yep, 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 yep. This whole thing is just uh, Lucia now. I'm Lucia going uh, Lucia, yes. <laughs> I'm going to, um, behind Lucia's back, leave uh, the gold behind. Ah, look at uh, that! <laughs> Lovely person! <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> always covering for your ass. I, I, did, I didn't say I was looking for gold. Is there anything, else, anything else there? No, I mean, I would pay for what you steal. Essentially, you just paying for it. We have enough gold. I would, Echo, uh, I would I, give I, you an inspiration I, point, but you already have one. I <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, you, you find some candles, you find some oh, yeah. um, arrows, you find, you know, a couple pounds of salted meat that you can e easily put in a pack that you have. I mean, there's a lot of meat, uh, but there's stuff that you can fit in your pack without it spoiling on the road. Um, I don't know, that, that's probably about yeah. what else. Very simple seasonings. So he, you know, pots and pans. Imagine just like walking into a, a Skyrim video game person's hut. Oh, yeah, That's what's there. Some clothes. Awesome. I'm ready it. But see, here, here comes the, the dilemma. Do I take some of the meat and then just leave money? <laughs> Did no, you say? I, I, just really just I, I, get my I get my dagger, and as I'm putting a uh, like a couple of pounds of salted meat into my backpack, I cut a slice off of it and just chuck it down at Kiri. Okay. <laughs> he catches it with his little paw things and. Meow. It's even cuter because he's in kitten form yep. right now. <laughs> Got big old kitten eyeballs looking at you now. <laughs> he jumps up. He, now he's sitting on your shoulder and just. Meow. He's looking at your pack because he knows that you put the meat in there. He's just like, what the. Bruh. That's mine. <laughs> um, I, I go ahead and leave two silver. Somewhere where it's obvious next to the meat. Okay. I'll just look down at it and think, yeah, I think that's fair payment. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, is that the, that's what you guys do here? Yep. 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 That's, that's what yep. we do here. Yep. Okay. Uh, you continue on uh, for, you know, the rest of the night or the rest of the afternoon, morning and afternoon. Uh, nothing else. Um, it's It's kind of a... It's a little bit warmer today. Uh, it's a little bit muggy. Uh, feels like there might be a storm rolling in. Um, the, uh, the air pressure is a little bit high and getting kind of sticky and yucky. Um, but yeah, you guys are able to make it to like midnight or uh, 10 p.m. Again, no issues. Um, you got one more about 12 hours ahead of you and uh, you'll probably be approaching Bastion Bay. So do you guys decide to push through, or are you gonna rest up? Um, <clears throat> should we take a short rest? The problem oh. is that most of us are half elves. So the other the other problem is there's probably gonna be a pissed off hunter looking around soon. <laughs> so we probably, probably hey, shouldn't be hey, taking one place. No, to we we love money, Lushu, unless you took more stuff. <laughs> I just, I just, like, Lucian just grabs his backpack because, like, no. just starts pushing stuff into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just as he puts uh, it if, on, yeah, also, if you did, if you did pay, if you did leave him any coin, make sure you take it out of your, your money. I already did that. Okay. <laughs> I wish there was karma points in this game. Might implement that. <laughs> <laughs> like Fable. 
Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, technically, because Lushu was nice to those small children, would he be in the positives? Or because of all his Lushu no moments, is he in the I, I think he just has a soft spot for uh, kids, <laughs> which is fine. But the, the thief just takes over in any other situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the funniest one to me was going into the wizard's pocket and the big plume of pink smoke just <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was great that actually turned out because I was able to make it so people could track you also oh, what's up Mesmer um, yeah so you guys uh, what, what are you resting up or are you going to push through uh, I, and me and I honestly don't have mind Okay, non-elf people. Companion. Yeah, non-elf yeah, people, please. We should be all rested well, so... <laughs> okay. As a group. Let's, uh... We'll do... I mean, I don't need to do another long rest. Who cares? Is Ava... Is Ava a half-elf, too? Yes. Yeah. So you guys don't so get the, the trance ability. elves we have... <laughs> so... Vasha and... Yeah. There, there's only two of you that, uh... Get the... The full effect of trance. Actually, is whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Vasha? I forget. <laughs> I think Vasha is a half elf too, right? Something like Justin Bieber. Characters. Vasha. Vasha is a wood elf. Oh no, Vasha's full elf. Okay, so yeah, literally half your party is elf. Other half has to rest. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys. Uh. Uh. Wait. Oh. Uh. Cereal or Lushu. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, Roll constitution yes. save. Check. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, lord. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, why do I feel this has something to do with the water? <laughs> oh, I don't see it rolled. What the heck? Oh, thank god see. for that. That's fine. Don't worry about it. it no, no, no. <laughs> what was it? What was it? Be <laughs> honest. I did, I did what was it? It doesn't count. We didn't see it. The tears of joy, quite clearly. Okay, I'll, I'll, it was be a 20. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be completely honest with you, okay? It was a nat one. What? Oh, oh, no. oh, Alright, okay, I, I kind of want to give you an inspiration point to, for yeah, being to be honest, honest, but I shouldn't yeah. reward that. But I should reward it. It should just be a thing. It should be just a common thing. It's like, we're all pl here playing as friends. We all should be honest with our roles anyways. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to reward it, but I kind of shouldn't. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. So you rolled a one plus. What's your? What was the full save? Um, one plus one. So oh, so two. two. Okay. Together. Yeah. Um, because technically ability saves don't have crit fail. Uh, some people choose to implement oh, okay. it. So but, two. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, um. As a. You you feel like your uh your blood is boiling. Uh, you're kind of, uh, you're in pain. You're extremely agitated. Um, just hearing some of uh, your fellow, uh, your fellow party members just breathing in their sleep is infuriating you. Um, go ahead and roll. Where are we going to have you roll? I've become, I've become possessed. Roll a charisma check. Oh, God. Okay. Um, uh, what, what would it be zero. charisma? Great. Am I rolling charisma? I'm trying to decide. Uh, what what would a check be to uh for like uh restraint? Um, wouldn't that be constitution or dex? Well, no, no, dex is like restraints. I'm talking like restraining your mental capacity. <laughs> Oh, wouldn't it be intelligence? Um, I think intelligence. Yeah. 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 Or wisdom? Uh, wisdom. What? No. Because it would be the understanding of it. I feel like it would be more intelligence, though, if he's trying to yep. more or less restrain himself. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yeah hey, I, Plus, that's your higher check. No. I'd say go ahead and do wisdom check. Or actually, or, uh, do an intelligence yeah. save. Intelligence save. Yeah. Which That's you actually, <laughs> yeah, you're proficient in that. So lucky you. Um, you uh, I mean that's not a bad roll. Um, but uh, you just uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a random roll here. No, I'm not. Um, 
If someone is a snorer in the group, who would it be? <laughs> Me. Me. <laughs> Everyone's just volunteering? <clears throat> okay. Actually, that's what I should ask in real life. Does anyone snore in real life? Me. Okay. Really bad We're just going to implement that in the game then. <laughs> All right. Uh, mis mis miscreation sleep talks in real life. Yeah. I, I yell in my sleep sometimes. Oh, totally. Yeah, she screams. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I've woken up partners doing that. Um, yeah. Let's see. Okay. So, uh, you know, Luju, you're, you're sitting there. You're trying, you're trying, you know, to meditate. Um, but your your body feels like it's on fire. Your blood feels like it's boiling. Uh, you're extremely agitated. You you are not able to focus, uh, uh, on your uh, your trance properly. And uh, it, it, just to add insult to injury, uh, Pancog over there passed out up against a rock. <laughs> Big old drool just coming out her face. Um. And uh, eventually you snap. Tyrion doing little kitten meows every once in a while. Yeah, uh, Cereal, you you or uh, Lucius snaps and uh, lashes out uh, to uh, on Pancog. Uh, how do you choose with all the information I provided you? I'll let you choose how you would actually lash out because it's your character. Uh... do with blood boiling and whatnot and to be fair it was a two as well so mm -hmm. it's quite bad um but you you rolled a nine on your uh lash out save so it's not like you're gonna oh, go try okay. to go yeah, okay. you're not gonna go try to beat her you wouldn't go try to beat her to a pulp feral. but you are yeah. uh lashing out okay um in that case um let's have a look i would Yeah, I got an idea. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my backpack and take out the salted meat that I had, cut off a load of slabs, and oh, lay no. them on top of Pancog, um, and kind of give Kyrian a little nudge, um, yeah. kind of let her, let Kyrian jump all over her and you know <laughs> bite her and you know make, make her, her up, up that way. Yeah. <laughs> Lucius a bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, Pancog, you, you obviously wake like up. He's getting petty revenge. Yeah, you, you obviously wake up from this, Pancog. Well, can I, not, can I make a slight of hand check to see if I can put it down softly? Like um, it doesn't. Sure. Go for it. Yes. <laughs> Look at you so much in you just going like this. Just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the tweezers. I got a plus seven, so okay. seventeen. Uh, Pancog, go ahead and roll a uh, perception check at disadvantage because you're sleeping. Ooh. If she beats me, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like how? Oh. <laughs> okay, so as you as you're taking off a couple of these strips of meat and you're gonna you know, like place them on your face, you're getting cheeky because you're uh. You're, 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 you're kind of you're agitated. You're not doing your best work. But uh, you, as you kind of go to place another piece, she got <laughs> moves and you almost smack her right in the eyeball. But you pull it back just in time. And you, and then you realize, like, okay, I, I got to do a little bit more gentle about this. But uh, you were able to put place all these pieces of meat, and Pancog has like half a face of meat. <laughs> and uh, that's where that's where uh, you stay, Pancog. <laughs> <laughs> until uh, uh so how the rest of the night transpires is up to lushu sleeping oh, no, um, actually I, 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 nudged, I nudged kyrian as well oh did you yes 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 <laughs> so I, I i'm nudging him to wake him up and, and then he does a little cat butt wiggle i quickly run and lay down and yeah go sleep. um <laughs> also sleeping. uh go ahead and roll a uh, perception Echo as well as Vasha because technically they're trancing, so they could figure this out or see if you're doing anything. <laughs> they're both just there giggling to themselves in their head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, Vasha, there you are. Okay. okay. Perception. Sixteen's pretty good. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Heckin' 
There you go. Perception. What's five? Holy shit. Vasha's perception is nasty. Uh, Vasha sees what's happening. Uh, most definitely. Um, this is why I don't like playing other players. But I kind of think, due to the mischievous nature that uh, Nat has already played Vasha, I would like to think that it kind of opens her eyes, like one eye, and is peeking. And watching this happen, as she's, she's just meditating. It's just kind of <laughs> smirking. Uh, but Echo, how, how uh, you you notice as well that something weird is going on here? Uh, I'll, how you choose to respond is up to you. I I find it amusing. You know, I know they've got a little um, love hate you know thing going on. I like, oh not again. <laughs> okay. Um, all that happens, and a little Kyrian kind of just a little getting butt waggle and <laughs> jump and pounces right on Pancog's face. <laughs> and now uh, you. You jolt awake. I, I, uh, <clears throat> I jolt awake. I'm, I'm like, what, what, huh? Kyrian, <laughs> the heck? And I set up and say, Kyrian's over here. Did your cat get into my meat? What the hell? And I'm, I'm kind of like looking into my bag and the meat's no longer there. It's just next to her. Uh, <laughs> you roll a deception and uh, Pancog yeah, roll an okay, insight. Okay, let's go. Blaming on, on the cat, that's low. Yeah. That's a low blow. <laughs> It is low. Oh, no. oh, she knows. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. knows that you are lying through your teeth. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. This is you guys. How are you played out? Oh, sir. Carrion would not just go into anyone's bag for no reason. And besides, I, I look around and I see the few little bits that Carrion didn't get that are shaved into like slivers. <laughs> yeah, cat, I, cat can't up, shave said, meat into slivers. <laughs> <laughs> and I pick one up and I, I hold it up to Lucy's face and I said, obviously, this has been shaven from whatever you took. Cook. You, say, everyone's like, waking up yeah. at this point, by the way. I say, well, clearly, Kyrian has some sharp claws. <laughs> oh, what happened? Have you fed him lately? <laughs> he has been a great guard cat, taking all the mice that have been around the camp and eating them. <laughs> How'd you know that's not mice? Or, or, or do you know mice meat. Mice to crawl over you while you're sleeping. Poor oh, mice is. Oh, I want a pet mouse. Yeah. Oh my god. Like in the green mile. Try, try, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna spin it around and try like avoid that conversation and try to convince them to let us keep a, a pet mouse. Keep a pet mouse. Um, meanwhile, yeah, if we find a mouse, I'll keep it. Because I mean, while I, uh, I kind of gestured towards Kyrian to, like, attack Lushu. Misty in step into a tree. Form. Misty step into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you're, you're, that, you're surrounded by planes. I don't think you got a, a, a tree to Misty step to. Say, technically, I have advantage here. Misty, Misty steps 30 feet away. <laughs> 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 okay. He keeps going backwards and forwards. Kyrian can pounce up to 50 yards. Well, he has to run, though. Okay. Um, are you actually using your misty step? Because, uh, okay. No, I'm really Okay. I mean, Kyrian's not even in full four, and he's just an untamed little kitten. The worst he's going to do is bite your ankle. Um, also, Eva, you're, you're obviously wide away from this, by the way. Uh, Zoza wakes up, and she's kind of just watching everything go down. She looks very uncomfortable. A little loot, like, oh. Well, I, I do have to be right back real quick. I need to put dinner in the oven. Go for it. It takes like 90 minutes to make, so I want to get started now. No problem. Very correct. Um, I also, a little bit of a retcon because I forgot. Um, as you guys have been traveling, Zozo seem, seems a, a little more standoffish than usual. Her uh, animated personality is a, um, a little bit more reserved. Um, but, uh... <laughs> So yeah, everyone's awake right now. All this is transpiring. Um, I don't know how are you guys. How are you guys gonna resolve this outburst? I guess. 
Echo is uh, leaning against a tree, writing it all down as it's happening. Uh, <laughs> just logging it, remember. writing your memoirs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I'm keeping an eye on it in case I'm needed. <laughs> okay. I, I'm going to let this off as as it, or it seems to be a prank more than anything. Um, I, I'll just be a little bit more disgruntled and uh, demand him to feed Kyrian at least two treats for trying to blame poor little Kyrian on I'm <laughs> 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 trying to steal stuff from his bag. That's funny. Okay. Um, this was like at two in the morning that this happened, so it kind of interrupted uh, everyone's sleep. <laughs> Uh, so if you guys want to get your full rest, you'll have to uh, rest a little bit later uh, than normal. Or than you would have normally. Uh, but do you guys just kind of go back to sleep? Or uh, rest up? Or uh, yeah, You guys could yeah, choose to of. continue forward. It's up to you guys. It depends well, if the rest of the members uh, have had enough rest. So you guys went to sleep around 10, 11, 12. Um, so you guys have got about four hours of rest before all this happened. Yeah, I was going to say, half elves only have to have, what, half of a, of a long rest? No, half elves have to do a full. Yeah. Uh, it's only full elves that have to do a half. I'd say go back to sleep for another two hours. So you can have your full rest. Everyone else is full rest. They'd have to sleep for another four. Actually, okay. I wonder if... Uh, I'm assuming staggered rest would count. I'll, I'll just say it would count. Because, you know, this was like a 30-minute outburst. Who cares? Um, but yeah, you guys can... You'll wake up at, like, nine instead. Um, in that, if you guys are going to continue sleeping. Um, okay. Hold on. Wait first. Things to come back. Okay. okay. Lucy's back. <laughs> Um, so everyone else I, I have decided to forgive you oh thank you I appreciate it <laughs> just letting him off the hook you, you, you have one of these days you're going to get punished for your uh, chaotic evil nature <laughs> probably um, I'm kidding <laughs> by the way not that day, DM. <laughs> uh, but let's see no see I'll just more or less uh, our goblin friend <laughs> set you up on a date mm. now, I'll, I'll leap to more shenanigans with the, the goblin friend <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, so you guys sleep a little bit later, uh, so you're able to get your rest in. Uh, Lushu, because of uh, your constitution save was so low, and uh, you were not able to get your full trance in, you are actually going to get a uh, a single point of exhaustion for the day, because you did not get a uh, a full, obviously, rest. You were able, besides, you know, your shenanigans with Pancog and stuff, uh, but your your body feel like it's literally burning alive. You are unable to get a rest. Um, and it seems and 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 the wound on your side seems to feel, feels like it's throbbing. Um, but you guys, uh, you wake up in the morning. Uh, you can continue on your journey. Uh, about what did I say? It was like eight hours or something, but until you got to Bastion Bay. Something um, like that. I think you said about half a day. Okay. Um, That's what we had left. Is, uh, you guys are just going to continue on forward then? Uh, yeah, b before the... we do, I'm going to... Echo's going to notice that Luxu's got a, a limp and suggest that so as soon as we get in there, we find a doctor straight away or someone has health potions before it gets infected. Okay. You... I, do, I do have some anti-infection um, herbs. We can always shove into them. <laughs> Eat these. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take him Basically, yes. Yeah. Jesus. Eat these. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luce is a classy elf. Do you, uh, do you offer the, the herbs to him? Pencog? Pancock. Oh, you're muted. Muted. I think I think it's mainly basil. Basil's a delicious herb. Yeah. Does that that doesn't do anti-inflammatory 
or anything. Just tastes good on the pizza. Yeah. I mean, you can season Lushu if you want. <laughs> Hello. We can hear you. Hello. Can you not hear us? Yeah, we can hear you. No. This card's being stupid. Okay, go ahead and restart. Okay. Um. Okay, but uh, you guys continue on. Uh, you 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 can see the the gates of Bastion Bay. Um, before you like long before you you're, you're like a mile out, and you can see it's a huge town, uh, or city, uh, quite large. Um, you can see it's uh surrounded by large stone uh walls. It looks definitely heavily heavily fortified. Uh, you're essentially walking towards uh the entrance gate. Um, as you guys start to approach, you're maybe a hundred feet out. In a, a something, uh, there seems to be a, a little bit of a, a commotion. Um, you can you suddenly hear the the sounds of uh, clattering hooves, um, and some sub surprised yelps uh, and frantic bleeding, uh, uh, coming toward you. Um, and uh, as you're walking, you notice ahead of you there's a there's a, a sheep. Um, kind of is running towards you guys, is bounding towards you guys, um, like full sprint. Just, just a random sheep. It, uh, as far as you can tell, it looks just like a normal, regular sheep. It's, it's every sheep way. Criminal contact. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, fluffy white coat, black face, curled horns. Um, but as it approaches, uh, you you notice that there's a there seems to be an elaborate uh, scroll in its mouth. Interesting. Um, could I potentially use the rope that we have in our climbing kits as uh, like a makeshift lasso? I mean, it's running towards you guys. Um, it, uh, well, you could probably stop it. Oh, I'll wait until he comes up and I'll take it out of his mouth. Well, I mean, if he's if he's running full tilt, is he gonna stop? <laughs> Probably not. Um, I mean, okay. Um, um it, it, the sheep actually uh kind of walks up to uh, uh Eva, oh. and uh, it's kind of kind of starts shaking its head, you know, uh, the, this this uh the scroll at Eva, and uh, okay. stops. Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, apparently I've made a friend. Uh, uh, <laughs> she just like, kind of reaches down and... Friends? I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> apparently, my friend now, but, uh, you know, I try to kind of like reach down and, and maybe try to, maybe not like force the scroll out of its mouth, but see if it will let me like get near it without... I don't know. I mean, it has a scroll. Maybe oh, it like, absolutely like, it, it lets you take it. It's given it to you. Oh, oh, geez. Okay. Um... <laughs> As you, well, you you take the the scroll and there's a there's a big old wax seal on it, um, and you are able to read. It's in common. Uh, it says scroll of speak with animals and but modified. Cool. Um, Where did you get this from, little guy? Me me me. And uh. <laughs> Can she understand the the sheep without reading the scroll and gaining the spell? <laughs> well, no. I mean, Unless you can well, speak with animals naturally. Yeah, I think I have that as a... Do I have that somewhere? Where is that? I, I felt like I did. Maybe I don't. Oh, maybe it's under cantrip. Hold on. Where are we at? Cantrip. Or maybe not. I don't think it's a cantrip. I don't think I do. I think it's just a normal spell, because I don't have that either. Yep. All I have is Beast Bone. Watch, uh, Vash is going to be the only one that actually has this <laughs> spell. I have to know. Actions. Oh, nope. She has... Oh, she does! <laughs> Vasha has uh, Animal Friendship and Speak with Animals. That's funny. Oh, hell yeah. So the wood elf does not have it. Well, I mean, it's a scroll. Anyone can use the scroll. 
Mm -hmm. uh, do, also, well, do you uh, do you let the rest of the party know what you found, Eva? Uh, yeah. I, after I carefully opened the the wax seal, I'm like, oh, interesting. Okay, and then I kind of like show it to uh, to Echo and over to Pancog. Okay. Uh, as you uh, show it that uh, what the scroll is and what you found out about it, the sheep is like, Man! and it's actually shaking its head enthusiastically. <laughs> Despite the screaming, he's kind of cute. <laughs> Call him Barry. <laughs> um, do we see anyone who who is chasing after the sh the sheep? Is there like, like a poor shepherd? <laughs> poor shepherd. Uh, sort of sheep here. <laughs> uh, you don't notice anything yet. Or if there's anything, you don't notice anything. Just uh, the, the sheep that is frantically pushing this this scroll into Eva. Bah! <laughs> Uh, Eva, I, I think that the the sheep is trying to uh, converse with you. I, I think it might be best if you uh, you somehow acquire the skill to talk to it. Bah! It starts jumping around, excited. <laughs> bah! 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 <laughs> okay, so is it just a matter of like reading the scroll, or yeah, just, you just read. You would read the scroll. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna do it. Why not? It's. I feel like it's a useful thing to have. Okay. Um, everyone, everyone else, obviously in the party, um, is bad. He's hearing bad, but uh, the the bleeding starts to uh, turn from full on sheep noises, and it starts to turn more into uh, or the, a very uh, eloquent uh, and elven sounding common. Um, actually, you know, it's, it's, it was a modified scroll, so it, it was like cast on everyone, so you all can understand. So. Eva doesn't have to translate. Um, but essentially, um, there's a... <laughs> the sheep, you know, it kind of introduces itself as like, ah, Thank you! Oh, I've been stuck with that squirrel for ages! My name is Feinthir Shinebright! <laughs> Please, you must help me! Okay. What, well, what do you need? Real quick, <laughs> for, for note, for note, how do you spell that sheep's name? Uh, Finethier Shinebright. Uh, Finethier, F-I-N-E-T-H-I-R. And then Shinebright, just like it sounds. Like Shinebright, like a diamond. Ugh, no. <laughs> Don't do shit like that when I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, here, also, th this is the this is the guy has the same name as the guy that Eldrin um, mentioned to you, Lushu, about getting checked out. Oh, uh oh. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> hmm. C continue on. Yes, con continue on. <laughs> oh yeah, he just said, uh, "Please help me." Yeah, I ask him, what, what Wild guess here. <laughs> I don't suppose you're stuck like this for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been stuck like this for years and I've just escaped. Please, you must help me. Oh, jeez. There's an extremely dangerous wizard in the town who's in, po in possession of a very dangerous artifact. You must help me. <laughs> and uh, as, as he finishes saying that in the distance you hear... A loud howl. Oh dear. Uh, a loud howl fills the air, uh, and, in, and it's accompanied by the sound of some uh, angry yells and uh, occasional scream that seems to be drawing closer and closer. The gates uh, have have already been opened, but you see um, some figures starting to walk out. Uh, the cause quickly becomes apparent um, as that there's that huge half orc uh, starts swaggering towards you. Uh, and he's pu he's pushing his way through um, any other people through the crowd. Uh, doesn't care about anyone. Is it's in his way? And just pushes his way through. Uh, in front of him, there walks to be a uh, some large, very large white wolves. Um, and uh, behind him, there's also seems to be another orc, probably the trainer of the wolves, and uh, a large 
hulking figure uh, covered in a cloak. Um, I was uh, gonna say it's a sort of reminiscent of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the White Wolves, um, they're 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 getting within. Uh, you know, you're able to see. actually. Some of you guys have elf eyes anyway, so you can see better. Um, but uh, the wolves are wearing uh, very large uh, iron collars. Uh, the, the hulking figure is in a dirty brown cloak. Um, he's just in the wake of, of the bigger orc, and uh, but the uh, the hulking figure's foot falls loud enough to you you can hear it over the ruckus of the city. Uh, the half orc. Uh, Sets his small eyes on you and strides forward with one hand resting on the hilt of his great sword. And uh, he, he says to you, oh, I gotta change this. He says, uh, That sheep is Master Nuts. Turn that down a little bit. It's a little, a little too much. I love that. He, he desires to have it back. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry, you're talking about this sheep. The, the sheep that, that is right in front of us. That sheep? Do you see any other sheep? Yes. I mean, there, w there was another sheep we passed on the way here. I, I, I assumed that you were talking about that sheep. Maybe he's talking about hooking sheep. Uh, I mean, didn't we pass a shepherd? We, we definitely passed a hunting... Uh, a hunter's cabin, and he had, like, a flock of sheep, correct? I, I kind of elbow Lushu in the side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I agree. Yes, she's correct. You guys are... Uh, go ahead and roll a, a deception if you want. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, disadvantage <laughs> anyway. Oh, wow. Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> you did a, Reverse psychology. You did okay. Uh, that, actually, you did oh. great rolls, but... Shit. Um, uh, the... Uh, he looks like he, he looks a little bit confused. Like he's like, oh man, maybe 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 we got the wrong sheep here. Uh but the uh the other work behind him kinda uh smirks to himself and you you can't see what he's saying. Uh he's speaking orc. Uh if, unless anyone can speak orc and read read lips from that far away. Oh, oh wait. Wait, I'm pretty sure I do, because they're one of my favorite uh enemies. Give me a sec. I do speak you do. orc. You speak orcish. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception at uh, disadvantage, because I don't think they're... You can't read lips, right? You can't. You don't have that feat. So actually, you wouldn't be able to know. You just know he's speaking orc, obviously, and he's saying it quiet, so you can't read lips. Um, but he essentially assures the... Uh, the bigger orc that uh that is the sheep they're looking for because his wolves are essentially tracking this sheep. They know it's the one they're looking for. Um, uh, he kind of chuckles at you and it, he draws his great sword and points it towards you guys like that store. That sheep is of great sentiment. The master knock will be taking it back. Now please step aside. Uh, I'm gonna ask him um, who is this Master Knock. He's none of your concern. The sheep I, now. I feel, like, I, I feel like he would be if uh, he he's so uh, so misguided that he somehow lost his very precious sheep. Animals can escape. You must be well aware of this. The sheep. Oh, now he uh, the the wolves kind of get on, you know, an aggressive stance and start barking. Burr, 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 and you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can, I, can I have like Kiri and kind of I have a plan. This full size form? I have a plan. Kind of the full size panther. Uh, Kiri, yes. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have Kiri and poof into full panther form. Yep, and and growl. Very menacing, like. All right. Oh, well, if that happens right now. Uh, obviously they take that as a sign of aggression, and he says, oh, shit. "Get your sheep!" And he yells, and uh, it's initiative. Oh, wait, not yet, because I got, I got to, I got to start up or share the the, the thingy. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, well, I, uh, I missed. 
I took some missteps. <laughs> All right. Did you guys get I think we're all that shared? That. <laughs> uh, where is that? That is a great question. Get, get a what? Uh, it will be images, and uh, it's called the city gates. Oh, here we go. And we're going to. It uh, is black for me. I cannot see. Yeah, I think I need to. It's gridless. I need. Oh, I gotta switch scenes. I gotta switch to this. All right, we gotta make sure everything looks okay, and I gotta drag you guys onto it. I believe. The downside of this new update is I can't tell which of these that I have uh, is my DM mode, and one of them is my normal, or for what other people can see. It's a kind of a bummer. Fantasy grounds. Come on, change. What image am I looking for? Sorry. Um, city gates. Yeah, city gates. All right, cool. Uh, there it goes. Okay. Now I have this. Uh, can you see anything besides black? No. Negatory. Okay. No, what I see is darkness. <laughs> okay. That means I need to go here. Open this. Oh, son of a bitch. That was the wrong one. That's fine. <laughs> you got this. <sighs> It's, yeah, I, I can't tell which is my DM screen and which is my my normal screen anymore. And I can't... How do I resize this? Why do I know someone was going to say that? There. Jeez. Okay. Um, I think I do like this. Images. Can I share it like this? Boop. Boop. Oh, you got it's because you guys aren't on the stinking map. Duh. That would be the problem. It's a wee one. Yeah, he's all upset. Whoa. Something freaked out. Um, okay. I gotta drop you guys on the map. Alright. Blue shoe. Oh, now I see it. Yes, ooh. Now I see it. Okay. <clears throat> There's Lushu. Here's Zozo. I I can see it now. Hancog. Kyrian. Echo. Eva. Hang on. Vasha. And the sheep. Uh, probably you guys should see them. Little man, what's up? I don't know. Okay, now I gotta switch to the other mode. Oh, who's all moody? Mm. Oh, little man. It's all right. <clears throat> okay, hopefully. Do you want just butter? That's what I need. All right, open combat tracker. We're gonna roll for initiative. Roll. Oh, there it is. Initiative. Boom. Yeah, I'll let you guys roll. There it is. I found it. Oh wow. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Butts going dead last. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're all really loaded. Why are we still at disadvantage? Uh, you might want to turn off disadvantage rolls. I don't know how you turned it on. Combat tracker. Okay. Okay. Cool. Good. Now we're we're better. <laughs> okay. So you guys can see all the enemies and everything, right? Yes. Good. Yeah. All right. We got a little bit of music's going on here. And uh Did everyone roll initiative? We good? Uh Lucio hasn't. Oh, Lucio hasn't I have to roll for Vasha and uh he, he's 
de-grumpifying baby Odin. Yes. <laughs> Come here, you. That's Yo. That's rolled a 20. <laughs> got a 21. Right. Zozo. Initiative. 20. Managing too many windows here. All right. Uh, so, uh, you said Lushu hadn't run rolled yet. I'll go ahead and roll for him. Mm -hmm. I got two. Like, <laughs> I got a 19 and a 20. So rolls are going great. Ah, that shouldn't be an advantage. Why was it advantage? Or why was that a disadvantage? How did you get rid of the disadvantage? Okay. I. I oh wait, <clears throat> he's at disadvantage because he's exhausted. That's right. Okay. Shit. Combat to start. Um, gonna switch. Where's my soundboard? My soundboard disappeared. There it is. Because we have a soundboard. Um, the wolf three is going to charge forward. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 60. I think their speed is real fast. 50. So he's back here. Uh, and he's going straight for the sheep. Uh, Vasha is going to step up. 5, 10, 15, 20. He's going to step up next to uh, that wolf and it's in a attempt to protect the sheep and is going to bonkinate with the mace. And that hits. I, man. My monitor screen is too large. And hits him for a little bit of damage. Five damage. And next actor. Oh, of course it's Zozo. Um, Zozo is going to do What is Zozo going to do? Zozo is going to do Vicious Mockery on what's the distance of that sucker? 60 feet? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Um, Zozo is going to step up a little bit and attempt to Vicious Mockerize the big orc. And fails. Oh wait, no, 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 he fails. So he oh, takes <clears throat> takes a little bit of damage, and uh, he gets disadvantage on his attack roll. Holy crap! Oop. Uh, Pancog, your turn. That's what I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, I want to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. And we're going to say Guz. The big guy. Yep, the big guy. Remind me again how I cast Hunter's Mark. Um... Hunter's Mark. Oh, wait, I... Give me a second. Yeah, you gotta give it to yourself somehow. I always forget the one okay. that I do. I, I think, think you got I it. it. Okay. Um, 
And then he needs to get the negative. Yep, I, I put that on him. Uh, so... Oh, shit. Uh, you hit him. Do I? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. <clears throat> okay. Uh, do to do, do. Holy shit. Dang. That was a lot of damage. Yes. <laughs> Got smacked. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Well, the man wants to, to not listen to me when I'm trying to, you know, be reasonable about the sheep. <laughs> um. Tell me you have the wrong sheep. Is that your turn? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, Kirin can go. Uh, I need you to open up Kirin's uh, thingy. Mm, boop. Did that work? Uh, did that work? It did. So we're gonna have Kirin. Uh, do, do, do. I think he's gonna go after the dire wolf that's in front of us. And you said if we move through party members, it's how much? Uh, counts as double. Okay, so... Are you just moving one at a time? There you go. That works. I'm, I'm trying to get him there. Okay. You said that's Dire Wolf 3? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have him attempt to bite the Dire Wolf. Missed. Yeah. Uh, oh, he dodges. Oh. Dodges out the way. Shit. Okay. And that ends my turn. And ooh, Dire Wolf 2 lets out a, a little bit of a howl and charges forward. Five, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40. And is going to. Oof, this is a gnarly. It's going to attack Vasha. Wait, why didn't you let me attack Vasha? <laughs> Error. Okay, there's a there's a problem with the rolls apparently. The game's like, no, you shot her. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, this is it. Allow it. This is that advantage. No, not. Oh. Okay, so fifteen. Did that hit Vasha. Wait, 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 20. why are the 2d20s? Because it's at, they're at advantage. But, so I just chose the high up one. Yeah, so I'm choosing the, I choose the 15. Because for some reason, there's a script that's erroring out, so I can't actually roll it for some reason. So if um, it's a 15 plus 5, then so shouldn't it's 20. it only be 20 instead of 32? Yes, but it, I had to roll it manually because the actual roll isn't working. Um, So oh, gotcha. I have to check Vash's armor now. I think that probably hits does um and it's going to bite vasha for 10 damage and vasha must do a save and passes barely and uh, the wolf bites vasha and uh tries to trip her at the same time and uh, but uh, Vasha dot or managed to avoid that getting tripped. Lucius turn. Hello, I got him. Um, bear with me. Okay, right, awesome. Okay, so I am gonna just thinking about it. Yeah, I'm gonna move here. There you go. 
Um, okay, right, so I'll do main hand first, then second, and then I'm going to use sneak attack um, for bonus damage, because he's within five feet of Vasha. So... Uh, let's give you your sneak attack. Awesome. Thingy, expand. Oop, there you go. Thank you. Okay then, so this is the first roll, I'm guessing that misses. Uh, remember to drag on them and it'll tell you, but oh, I can check. Sorry. 11, uh, yeah, that miss. Okay then, so this is offhand onto Direwolf, number two. That one hits, Ooh. I don't, can you do sneak attack? I got, I got a lot of logs just appear up. Like network send follower. Yeah, like I'm, there's log. something weird going on with the, the scripts. We'll have to check afterwards. Um, so yeah, does 15 hit? You hit, but I don't know if you get sneak attack on an offhand. Hmm. Ability skills, abilities. Sneak attack. Once per turn, so you can do it. Yeah, cool. Alright, so I'll do damage to it first. There we are. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage. That's a big damage. Because it, in it included your sneak attack for you. Okay, awesome. That's, that's a lot of damage! Good. That's a lot of damage! And that will be my turn. <laughs> They'll sink right into the, the wolves. Alright, the uh, the hooded orc, uh, the, the hunter, or the the trainer. Um, how, what's the range on that? <clears throat> the range is... Oh yeah, there's plenty of range. He's going to chuck the, uh, he's going to step up next to Guz. He's going to throw a javelin at a Lushu. Shink. And he hits. Uncanny dodge. And that's, you take half, right? Um, yeah, half the damage that's done to me, I take half of it instead. All right, is there a way that we can... Aha! Oh, I Sorry, can't... Wait, hang on, hold up. Yeah, I can't... Right, yeah, it only works for an enemy that I can see. I want to see if he was in, like, line of sight. Yeah, you can see him. Okay, awesome. Um, is, is there a way... I'm going to look up Uncanny Dodge real quick. To see All if... All the Uncanny Dodges. I got it up here, starting at fifth level. When well, I know what it is. I was going to see if I could just give you an effect. It would just oh, auto okay. half it, but it doesn't. Nah. So I gotta do the damage and we'll just half it. Uh, so take four damage. Four damage, bam. Um, now, now it's Guz's turn. And he's at disadvantage. He is. Um, he is going to charge up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And he's going to recklessly attack. Um, he's got, So he's going to recklessly attack, which essentially gives him advantage on all melee weapon attacks during his turn, but then all w attacks against him get advantage. So essentially, oops, what was my combat tracker? Essentially, he gets a normal roll, but you guys will get advantage on him. Effects, not calendar, effects. Reckless, reckless attack. All right, he's recklessly attacking Lushu. Mm. Um, with his whirling greatsword. Bam. Fantastic. Um, misses. you miss, Ooh, or he yeah. misses. Um, I'm fast as fuck. yeah, here's a, your little dodge out of the way sound. And you kind of <laughs> sneaky bugger. <laughs> and, uh, it is now Direwolf 1's turn. He's going to charge up as well. 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, he can attack 
Uh, Kyrian. No! Oop. All oh, right. This. What is this? Script manager jacked up. All right. Gotta what roll. They do, uh, update while we're playing. Yeah, right. Uh, fifteen plus five, so twenty. I'm pretty sure that hits Kyrian. Uh, uh yes. And his armor class is a fourteen. Yep. Uh, he does uh, very little damage. He did almost the very bare minimum. But he is going to try and trip him at the same time. Kyrian passes. Does not get tripped. Woohoo! Echo, it's your turn. Uh, babe, do you want to come in here and help? Yeah, help the baby! Yep. <laughs> I got it! <laughs> baby! Give me my boy. <laughs> Hail Odin! Hey, buddy. Uh, my boy! Uh, look at you, look at the little man. Oh, little man. Righty tighty then, I shall. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I will. Ooh. How close are they? Very close. Yeah, they're within like 80 feet of you, so. Um, okay, that is concentration. The touch of your shadow will be hand. I'll tell you what, I am going to cast fear. Hell yeah, dude. Um, so you'll have to do a wisdom saving throw. So, um, oh, you can only do it on one person? Right. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a um. Uh -huh. It's a thirty foot radius. Sorry. Yep. Uh, you you project a phantasmal image of a creature's worst fears. Oh, Each creature in a thirty foot cone must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Oh wait, which one are you looking at? Um, oh, you're looking at fear, not cause fear. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it does say uh, each creature, so if you hit friendlies, they also get affected. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward a bit so that I can get in the right position so that I'm only hitting the wolves. Go for it. Okay, so I am here. 10, 20, 30 feet. If I go from there... Yo! Up, great position. Upwards. And if you drag the little green dashy icon, that'll show you who it can hit. You see what I'm talking about? Like next to the mirror looking thing? That's a template. It'll show you your, uh, how it can be placed. Uh, I do not see that. <laughs> there you go. I got it. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That guy. Yeah. So I would like to. I can't rotate yeah, it. Yeah, Why can't I rotate it? Rotate, damn you. <laughs> Pivot. Pivot, there it goes. So, <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to try your best to avoid your friends. Yes. Uh, okay, got to rotate it some more. Hey, little potato, what's up? You're going to... Hmm... So you still have a little bit of movement. I think you can shift a little bit more. Because otherwise you're going to hit Vasha and lose you. Yeah. Like, I think if you move left. Because you have 10 more feet of movement, right? Why aren't you moving? Oh, it's because this... There you go. The thing is over you. All right, let's... Yeah, let's place that and see if it's any better. Um, you'll hit all the wolves, you'll hit Guz, you'll also hit Lushu, but that's uh, your decision. It would have to be here. Do I, do I have enough to move to there? Uh, you, did you move again? It didn't show you moved. Oh, um, that's where I want to get to, because then... Oh, you want to move there? 
Yeah, so it's at an angle where it doesn't. Um, you will hit Vasha and Lushu if you go there. God damn. I think okay, if you go uh... here, you might be able to do it. Let's see. Okay, a little bit. Why can't I do it by in increments? Nope. I, yeah, so that one to your right is your best bet. You will still hit Lushu. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to take that risk because I've got three wolves in range. There's a lot of boys there, yep. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and drag the... Uh, wisdom DC on each of the people that it's going to hit. The little save button. Uh, I can't find it. So under fear, um, you should have the expanded. You see it says Wiz DC 13. Drag that onto each of the people it hits. Oh, I see them all now. Uh, I could always do it too if it's easier. Yeah, yeah, it's been, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, no, you're you are fine. You got baby stuff too, so. Really, why'd that show up? All right, uh, Guz. It was me. Just ignore that. Passes. Wolf. Passes. Where are all these fucking things come from? Uh, next one. This wolf. Bales. This wolf. Bales. Uh, Lushu. Oh, Lushu with the natural 20! Okay, so these two wolves are frightened. Um, boop. Boop. Um, and you have concentration now. Or that's a concentration spell. So, you... Where are you on the tracker? There you are. Okay, so you have a concentration spell up now. Um, did you mark off your level 3 spell slot that you used in your tracker? Oh, I can do that. You, you got a baby. I'll hook you up. Um, okay. So, those things are fearded. Which, I just want to... I think they have to run away. When they're, they're feared. Let's see. Fear. Let me see. While frightened, the creature must make a dash action to move away from you by the safest possible route on each of its turns, unless there's nowhere to move. This creature ends its turn in a location where it doesn't have line of sight to you. The creature can make a whiz. Oh, where it doesn't have line of sight. Okay, so essentially, you project the most terrifying image to these two wolves as possible. And uh, they say, fuck this, I'm out of dodge, when it's their turn. Um, next turn is... Uh, so the, the hulking figure that was in the cloak drops down on all fours and it turns out to be it's just a big fucking brown bear and uh he lets <laughs> let's force a roar, roar, and it's coming at you it, it keeps going off stop it stop playing there it goes um and it it kind of boom 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 starts coming five ten fifteen twenty Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. How far can you run, bear? You can run forty feet. Um, he's going to use a bonus action from Guz's aggressive ability to be able to move his speed. Five, ten, right here. And he's going to attack Lushu with oh, great. a claw. That hits. He's got multi-attack. Second claw. Lucy Dot manages to... He's kind of taken aback that this bear just fucking moved very quick. Uh, <laughs> takes one hit and is like, Oh, snap! Uh, but manages to dodge the second one. 
and can't uh, use uncanny dodge again until it's my turn. Correct. Again, right? Yes. And you take very little damage. Oh, that's fine. Um, and kind of <laughs> at you. It, uh, Eva, it's your turn. I'm ready to throw hands or pause, if you will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, this dude just made this shit personal. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm. This is a bear. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I bear. love how. Yeah, uh, I love how it's still bugged saying that I there's another brown bear that's friendly already here, but we're gonna ignore that. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> that one is that's you technically, huh? Hold on. Technically, but it's it's all right. I'll move it down. There you go. Okay. You've already uh, wild shaped and nobody knew. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, it's a bonus action, it's right? You can sneaky. just whoop. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do first. Okay. Because, uh, you know, bear versus bear. About to get serious. Oh, I got to yes. I gotta drag you. <laughs> Hold on, I got to drag bear. Drag bear! There you go. Bear do be in here, if you will. Uh, okay. So, and then can you control this I'm... bear? I think so. Maybe. Will it let me? That's the real question. Yeah. Ah, yes, it will. Okay. Can I go here? Question mark. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Cause I'm about to, I'm about to change this man's life. You're just be like, the bear v bear me, bitch. <laughs> you really went and made it pretty. <laughs> 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 All right, and then I'm gonna attack him once. That's probably. It. Hi, Josh. We love you. Uh, you hit? hit? Oh, cool. All right. So, uh, yeah, he's about to have a, a day. Uh, you smack him. Brrr. And then do my second one. Uh, hit. <laughs> and damage done. <laughs> All right. Just whap, whap, double smack of the bear paws. Get smacked. All I'm gonna say. <laughs> Well, I was gonna say, technically, she bit him once. Oh. Instead of a claw attack. Oh, that's. Fine. They get multi attacks, so it's fine. Uh, well, the sheep is in, uh, oh shit mode. <laughs> <laughs> kind of bleats out and, uh. Get the sheep out of dodge. Try to run. Just get the heck out of dodge. Yeah, how would the, the sheep. I mean, the wolf would get an attack of opportunity. If it left, uh, but the sheep is wanting to get out, so he kind of runs. Um, actually, those two wolves, I'm gonna say they don't get an attack because fucking uh, Echo with her fear bomb scared the shit out of them. So th I'm gonna say they don't get their uh, the reaction. Hell yeah. Um, wolf three has to f legit fucking use his dash move to get the hell away. <clears throat> Um, all right. Does Kyrian get an attack of opportunity? Uh, dash, d uh, does not allow a talk attack of opportunities. All right, he's going to dash. Double click to put out notification of intent. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oop. Double your speed this round. Oh, no. <gasps> Disengage is the one that avoids that opportunity attack. So... Yeah, he's essentially going to run directly away. And Kyrian and Vasha will both get an at attack of opportunity on this guy. And this wolf says, fuck! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70, 75, 80. Fucking, that looks almost directly away from Echo. Okay, so, um, Kyrian can go ahead and attack him. I'm gonna do Vasha as well. Um, basic attack. So, yo, with the Kyrian with the crit. Yes. <laughs> Damn, Kyrian got real mad at that wolf. Um, Vasha. This wolf, man, I'm a cat. <laughs> Vasha hits and does some damage. All right, the uh, secondary wolf is gonna get attack for opportunity from Kirin as well, and Whoop. go for it. Um, 
Oh, that's wolf one, but he's technically not supposed to move yet. Uh, you hit. I'll put him back. Oh. <laughs> the lowest damage. It's fine. Any damage is damage, right? True. Uh, Vasha is going to... He used all his crit. Bonk. Actually, is there anything Vasha could do that's pretty fucking dope? This looks pretty fucking dope. Sick. All right, Vasha is going to use Wind Wall. This is a big what ass. Do? Big ass area. Hold on. Rotate. Rotate. Nope. Let me rotate this, please. Let me rotate this, please. <coughs> and it's 50 feet. Come on. So. 5, 10, 15, 20. Boom. Oh, and it misses Echo. Perfect. Okay, so you guys can see that, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is Windwall that uh, Vasha just summoned up. Uh, level three spell, so let's mark that off. And some crazy stuff happens. Let's see. Um... When the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a strength saving throw or take damage. A strong wind keeps fog, smoke, and other gases at bay. Smaller firing creatures can't pass through the wall. Loose, lightweight materials brought through the blah, 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 blah. So arrows can't go through it. Damn it. But. Uh... Oh, I thought they was going to be able to stop people from coming through, but it's only small creatures. But she just hits a bunch of people. So strength on Goose. Oh, God. Man. Ooh. I hate the tokens being obnoxious. All right. Goose has to run a strength check. Boom. He <laughs> rolls a fucking 20. Uh, so he passes. Wolf. Fails. Wolf. Passes. Okay, so this guy takes damage. Do usually higher level spells do damage on a failed success or a success on half as much as on a save. So that would be seven to goose. And, oops, not that. Not that either. Seven to goose. And, uh, six, or, er, jeez, I can't add. Seven to goose and eight to the wolf. All right, goose, where are you? Goose. 31. Eight to wolf one. Boom. Uh, that's Vash's turn. Zozo is going to probably try to help someone out. Um, no one has a bad bonus or anything. Um, she is going to try to incapacitate uh, the uh, that dude again, though. Uh, goose. And he fails. Holy shit. Okay. This guy has... Nah. This guy has the worst saves ever. Well, he's, uh, incapacitated. Um... He's knocked prone. Okay. So he's prone. <laughs> and incapacitated. So, geez, Ozo. Uh, Pancog, it's your turn. Um, 
then because of that stupid wall, I can't really shoot all that much. Um, um you can hit Goose. And, uh, what, what is that, Wolf? Wolf number, not, not Wolf one, the middle Wolf. Well, see, I was trying to figure out Hail of Thorns, trying to see. That's that AOE, right? Who would end up. Uh, so the little circle thing next to you? Yeah, that, you can drag that over to see uh, how it would drop. I think it's being difficult. Oh, you have to hit a creature with something first. You can't just cast it. You have to oh, hit I was it. Trying to see. Oh. Uh, so I think um the next time you hit a creature with a ranged attack before the spell ends, the spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normal attack, the target attack and each creature within five feet must make a dexterity so save. So, uh, who, who would you be targeting, I guess, with your attack? Well, I, I think I'm just going to avoid that and just... Um... So you're not going to use it? Let's do sharpshooter. No. Okay. Delete that token. Let's do sharpshooter on a dire wolf three. Uh, he I might be behind the wall. Let's see. Where are you? Yeah, he is. Um, no, he's not. Okay. How about the no, he's not. You, you can hit. You can hit. You can hit wolf three. He's far enough away. Or the bear. Yeah, you can hit him too. Up to you. I'll hit the bear. Okay. Come on, computer. Cooperate. Uh, you gotta give yourself the minus attack too. Be sure to do that. There you go. And go for it. Okay. Let's see if I can actually take out the bear. Oh, no, I hit Ava. Nope. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, you missed. I tried to attack Eva. Did you really? Well, <laughs> yeah. no, it says attack five, brown bear, miss. Brown bear one. Yeah, it says miss. That's Eva. Oh, that's funny. Well, I mean, you still would have missed with a roll of five. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, I attempted. Tyrion. Um, so it's Tyrion's turn. He's gonna attack Dire Wolf 1. Okay. <laughs> Uh, come on, computer. I know you don't like fantasy grounds. So. <laughs> you hit. Whoop. <laughs> For the lowest damage. For the lowest damage. damage. But, wow. He bites. One damage is all damage. Did damage. Okay, turn complete. All right, Wolf 2 is going to... Hmm. Isn't He's... one of them still vicious, uh, terrified? Yeah, Wolf 1 will be running on his turn. Uh, but Wolf 2 is going to disengage. He's going to use disengage. Disengage. There you go. So he can... 10, 15, 20, 25. And he's going to attempt to grapple. 
the <clears throat> sheep. And rolls a 20. The sheep? Oof. No, not the sheep. And he grabs him. So he used 20 feet of movement. And Bert, he's going to turn around. And 5, 10, 15, <clears throat> 20. And uh, he, he now has the sheep in his mouth. So the sheep's moving with him. Uh, Lucius' turn. Aha. Okay. <clears throat> right. Um, I am going to attempt to attack. If I attack brown bear number two above me, will I still get sneak attack with... Um, is that five feet? Yeah, five yeah. Feet? you have Eva and Vash within five feet of you. So less. Okay then. All right then. So yep. First one, main hand. Absolutely hit. Awesome. So go ahead and apply uh, your sneak attack. That one, and then damage on. Oh, I didn't. You didn't do it. Yep. <laughs> you got to drag it onto yourself, unfortunately. Oh well, that one's dead. Oh. All right. Well, you super so sneak attack. Doesn't... Really matter. Yeah, there you go. Murder the bear. Uh, okay, he's gone. Oop. Perfect. Um, as a uh, the the bear falls unconscious, uh, he shifts back into a a human form, and he looks like a guard. Ooh. Uh, you have you have to target. You have your offhand attack, right? I do, yes. So I can use that on Guz. Yes. And is that still sneak attack? Because no, you can only use a uh, sneak attack on one attack. Oh wait, what? Why did I roll twice? Because he's oh, a I disadvantage. He blocked oh, it guess. still, though. Yeah. Mm. Wait a minute. You rolled two fives. Well, that okay. sucks. This guy's <laughs> laughing his ass off, rolling on the ground, and you can't find a man to just stab him while he's rolling on the ground. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Um, is that your turn? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to end it. Yes, there you go. Oh, good. Um, the other Did orc... Some issues? No. The other orc, uh, okay. yells at the, uh, the wolf that's running and was like, What are you doing? Because uh, he's angry that his his boys uh, are running away. Uh, so he's going to step up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And he's going to take a great axe swing at uh, Lushu. He hits. This is going to hurt. Uncanny dodge. Uh, okay, oh. so you take uncanny eight dodge. instead. <laughs> Oof, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, the uncanny dodge. It's so clutch. It's unreal. Yeah, dude, it's <laughs> saving your bacon for sure. Okay. It's OP to not be OP, but... Um, Guz is uh, laughing his ass off here. Prone, incapacitated, save, and... Okay, I need to look up that stinking ability just real quick. So we're aware, um, our dinner's going to be ready in 20 minutes. Yep, uh, we should be done here shortly. Awesome. Uh, he, he's laughing if the target... Unable to stand up for the duration of creature with intelligence. Okay. At the end of each of its turns, each time it takes damage... Oh! Uh, no, he didn't take damage because you missed. Uh... Okay, so it's the end of its turn, so it can't do anything. He's laughing his ass off, but he can try to make the saving throw. Okay, so he's going to attempt to do his wisdom save. So, yeah, and he passes. Holy shit. Um, so he's no longer affected by that. And uh, he's going to... Oh, he can't, because that... He only can do that at the end of his turn, but uh, he, he gets up. Oh, no, he's not. Whatever. He, he's there. Uh, dire Wolf 1 is fleeing, and you guys hit him, so he's up 
here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Echo. Okay, I cast. Hang on, I'm gonna move. If it's easier, you can tell me what you want to do, and I can move you and stuff. Because you have um, a baby. I want to move um, so that I can diagonally shoot a fireball through them. Try to hit a fireball to the two orcs without hitting your friends. Fireball. So like that. Like that. And <laughs> just scorch the ground. Wonder, can you get? Nope. Okay, so you can uh, you can hit those two guys for sure. Um, we'll mark off your thing. Yeah. Giant fucking fireball. Um. Okay. So these guys. He's. Oh my god. Guz is still laying on the ground. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, How is he not dead? Because he hasn't been hit that much. He's just been uh, crowd controlled. Okay, uh, so he's probably going to get disadvantage. Or he should be at disadvantage. Let me roll it again. Because he's still technically in the ground. Uh, he still passes. Uh, the other orc also passes. I think they still take half damage, though. So, 46. So, Guz will take... Holy shit! Oh, man. 20 plus... What's your... He get, he takes 22 damage. My god. Yes! Die. Oops. <laughs> Probably won't be enough to kill him, but... And then the uh, other orc takes nineteen damage and just fucking knocks him out. Holy shit! Normal orcs have really shit life. Um, you just one shot that one orc. He just uh, erupts in fire and just fucking burns alive. Fireball. Yeah, Fireball. it's gross ass ability. There's a reason why it does a shit ton of damage. Um, okay. Um, Echo, that's probably your turn, right? Um, yes. also, he gets to make a, a wisdom save throw because he's, uh, oh, wait, he already broke out of it. That's right. Never mind. He's just laying on the ground. Um, it is. Eva's turn. All right. Uh, let's. Can my map zoom in and out correctly, please? Thank you. <laughs> giving me problems. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna turn. Well, not turn around, but that's control, right? Uh, nope. Shift. Shift. There we yep. go. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what it's one of them. Yeah, it's one of them. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to this wolf boy over the yonder. Ooh, smart. And I'm gonna try to... Uh, would it... Can I try to break grapple to get the sheep out of his mouth, or do I have to just hit him? Um... Yeah, I think you have to just hit him. Okay. The sheep can try to break. Um, I don't know, if you, like, get a crit or something, you'll knock it out. Oh. Nope. Uh, wolf. Thank you, have a day. D dumb. <laughs> well, you get two attacks, so... <laughs> and that one hit. Okay, cool. And oh my god, the bare minimum damage by you guys is sad. No. <laughs> Shush, okay, we're just having an off off roll yep. for You can blame you Lushu for uh pulling the prank. None of you guys got good sleep. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, is that Lushu your turn? trying to blame poor Carrion. Yeah. Okay, uh, sheep is going to try to break grapple. Double click the character. Yeah, blah, blah. <laughs> Failed. 
Oh, by one. It failed by one. All right, the sheep is still being carried. Uh, dire wolf three. How long does frighten last? Oh, I should probably look that up. Hold on. Fear. All frightened. Up to a minute. Oh, where it doesn't have line of sight of you. you. Can okay, so these fucking wolves are just scared shitless and running. I uh, didn't play them right last time, but fine. 10, 15, 20. Okay, he's gonna essentially break line of sight so he can do a roll. Um, how do I fucking... <clears throat> Open up your fear thing. I'm assuming it's just another wisdom safe. You can make a wisdom save. Okay. I'm gonna try to make a wisdom save against your DC of n -n 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 -n. Wisdom save, blam. Uh, and it passes. Holy shit. Uh, Direwolf three is now no longer frightened, but is in the middle of nowhere. And that's the end of its turn, so it can't do anything. Uh, it's Vash's turn. Uh, she's going to also attempt to stop the wolf. Maybe there's uh, something that she can do to stop the wolf. Uh. No, she's not gonna do growth of stuff. Um, she's just gonna, she's gonna toll the dead. And bing bong. And right in the face. Bing bong! And complete fails it rolls a two why is there two damages here oh because you are higher level ha why did it roll that many dice did you cast it at a higher level no it's a cantrip um, it said, oh, because it, it was a critical. No. No, it wasn't. <clears throat> um, and you can't crit on spells. Um, like that. It's it failed its save. It's got. Oh, maybe it did. It did crit. Holy shit! Okay. Um, well that I was wolf. Say, I'm yeah. Nothing. How did that fucking? I don't think you could do that. All right. Well, that wolf fucking drops the sheep. Blah. And that's wolf. Which one? That's two? That's two. Alright. Well, damn. Uh, that wolf is now unconscious. Uh, Zozo has a... Uh, is going to also do something. Is, uh, who's hurt? Lushu's hurt, right? Yeah, I'm hurt, yeah. And Oops, that's Pancake. That hurt. Yep. Kyrian's hurt. Uh, Zozo. Why did it open the other one? Okay. Does Zozo have a heal? Doesn't look like it. I thought she did. I think, I think I'm one of the few that actually does. Mantle of Inspiration. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's gonna use one of her, uh, Bardic Inspiration points to... Heal Lushu with some, or give him some temporary hit points. Boop. There you go. Seven temporary hit points. <laughs> uh, Pancog's turn. Uh, since Hunter's Mark is still on Guz, I'm gonna attack Guz. Okay. Uh, is he still prone or no? Uh, yes. 
He hasn't been able to stand so up yet. would it be advantage? Uh, it'll automatically give you the advantage roll because it's uh, built in. And you got a 20. Oh, not 20. Wait, wait. Why are you at disadvantage? I don't know. Because he's on the ground. Because he's on the ground, uh, ranged attack gets disadvantage on the ground. Oh, sharpshooter doesn't give you advantage or uh, doesn't get rid of that and only. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't use sharpshooter. No, no, sharpshooter is just a, the the passive of sharpshooter gives you uh, you ignore half cover and three quarters cover. Um, I w I didn't know if it applied to uh prone as well. Apparently not. Oh, that would have been so much damage. That's sad. Disadvantage drop. But you did a shit ton of damage, though. He, uh, he's definitely not happy. He's definitely bleeding out profusely. Uh, Kyrian's turn? Uh, yeah. Give me a second to figure out where he's at on the map. He's right next to the other bear. Uh, I'm gonna have Kyrian move out to Guz. And we're gonna have him, uh, Try to bite him. Okay. Chomp away. Chomp. Yeah, uh, you hit it. Chomp. <laughs> Dude, oh, I think he did three point. ones in a row. At least it's better than the absolute yeah. fails we had the last time. Uh, Direwolf 2 is dead. Lucius' turn. My turn. Right. Does Kyrian count as the ally? Five feet? Yep. Perfect. Alright. Um, can you turn on my sneak attack? Sure can. Because I push it here and it doesn't seem to apply. So. Um, so if you just drag it onto yourself, it'll work. Oh, okay. So if I drag sneak attack onto... Where the... Why can't I... Yep. Uh, do you have a uh, the combat tracker open? Yeah. Here. Maybe you can't. I can't. Just right here. Oh. I just did it. Boom. There oh, you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right then. Um. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a hit. Uh. Eighteen. Oh, you did. You just did damage. Yeah, you hit. <laughs> and uh. Okay, so everything got deactivated. No. You did damage. No, I roll. Oh, there you no. go. That's, that's my damage. There you go. Oh, yeah. So 17 with one attack. You, exceed, you exceeded his hit points by 15. Oh, he, so yeah. he he is dead, dead. Like, he's not unconscious like some of his friends. He's fucking dead. Good. Yeah, yeah I do a full, like. should have just listened that this, that was not the sheep. <laughs> uh, so here you go. Here's your stab sound. And he just kind of didn't even get a stand up. He was on the ground half that fucking battle. <laughs> um, but so he's dead. Um, the other orc is dead. The wolves are gonna, the remaining wolves are just gonna try to fucking book it back into the, the keep. Um, but uh, for now, you guys seem to be victorious and uh, sheep shine bright. Seems to be in a, a, a safe clutches now with you guys. But um, we don't want to stay up too long because our UK friends need to eat and get to sleep. But uh, yes. is there any sort of wrap up thing you want to do here or can uh, should we just pick that up next week about how the battle ends? I, I decide to have Carrion just go over to the sheep and like kind of pick him up by his like mouth. <laughs> I... um... Okay. <laughs> And uh, I say to the rest of the group, I said, if uh, they had only just ignored that this was the sheep, uh, I think that they would have still lived. Nice. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess next week we can pick up to find out what's going on with Shine Bright and the sheepified person. But uh, thank you guys so much for playing. Uh, I'm so happy to be able to play with you guys again. It's good to yeah. see all your lovely faces. It's good to be back. <laughs> 
Oh, he's a great friend. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, thanks for playing, my friends. We're gonna we're gonna dip out here so our friends can go to sleep and stuff. But go ahead and say goodbye to chat. <laughs> Hi, thank you for watching. Bye. See you later, my dudes. Bye bye. Oh, wrong one. There we go. There we go. I know what I'm doing. Professional streamers here. All right, my beautiful friends. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Hope you guys had fun. It's it's been great um, getting back into D and D with some friends. I've been I've been feeling us in D and D lately. I don't know what the heck was going on with the the errors we were getting. I might have to check to see if some of the plugins got updated and stuff. But Moira, you beautiful bean. Yo, eighteen months. You get a special. Oh, dude, you get a special sound effect. Data cookie. Come over here. What are you doing laying on the ground? Come here. Come over here. Come get this cookie. Dude, you get a special sound effect. Thank you so much for the 18 months. I appreciate the heck out of you. Um, let's see. Um, so yeah, come up like a six second or less sound effect that you want for uh, your welcome sound. And I'll get that plugged in. I appreciate you so heckin' much, my dude. Uh, did your note save? Um, I hope so. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll, we can find out. I can load up the campaign again so you can, oops, do some edits if you want. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we'll be back at this again uh, next week and we'll continue on. Um, hopefully we'll have the full members of Team Compliment here. It's it's always like brain have to switch between being DM and doing all the stuff and then switching to have to be a player and try to figure out how uh, they would actually play their character the best. Um, but uh, I hope you guys had fun. I'm very excited to be playing D&D with these lovely beans again. If you guys don't know, most of them are streamers. Go check them out. Love them. And uh, what time is it? It's 4.30. Uh, I might go eat some food. Uh, maybe we'll play some uh, cyberpunk or something later tonight. I'm not sure. I do have to do some dice stuff. Uh, so we'll see what, how that goes. But the game's back open again, Pancog. So go ahead and uh, do what you need. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I uh, hope you guys had fun. Uh, remember to spay and neuter your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to a risk if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyways, I'm Invasive. We are quarantined. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And uh, let's actually, you know what? Let's see. Do we want to go for a raid? We could probably go for a raid. Raiding sounds fun. Uh, I, everyone's playing Elden Ring. And I would love to go raid Elden Ring, but I'm also scared of spoilers. So I don't think I want to go do spoilers. Um, you guys want to go see some DBD? Let's go raid uh, Lobster Dog. Lobster Dog's pretty cool. Um, they're playing some DVD, probably Survivor. Uh, they play, they do a lot of Yes Mither, and that's always making me laugh, so, um, let's go raid them. If you guys gotta, you know, go eat, drink some water, take care of yourselves, need to split, totally un uh, understandable. But if you wouldn't mind staying for a few seconds, just say hey, see if we can, uh, make their night a little bit better, and, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Yeah, come on, let's go get a snack -em. Snack! <laughs>